another um, makeup tutorial um, inspired by a 1950s look. Um, actually, my aunt is had mentioned it, and um, so since she mentioned it, I decided to do it. Um, so I've already prepped my face; it's clean, it's washed, and I put my anti uh, redness by L'Oreal just around my cheeks a little on my nose and up here so um, I also use my NYX eyeshadow base I just put some up here and I also use um, my eye primer by Tarte So, so far, I've, I've prepped my face with that, um, and now I'm going to just put on my makeup. Now, 1950s, um, the style is classic, very simple, um, liner, mostly red lip, most of the women back then were also fair skin, um, but the Latino actresses that were around in that era, they also followed the same look. So basically I'm going to do the same thing, um, a basic classic look, think Marilyn Monroe, um, Elizabeth Taylor uh, type of um, look with red lips and um, li uh, black liner on the eyes and stuff. So basically that's what I'm going to base it on. Alright, so let's get started. So because they were, their skin was a little fair at that time, I am going to use a lighter color. Oh, it's not that much of a difference. It's my winter color because in the summer I get a nice suntan. So I'm going to go for the lighter color, which is Maybelline Color Me Fit in 235. And um, I like I like their um, their foundation. Um, it fit, feels nice on my skin. It doesn't feel cakey. It doesn't feel, you know. It just feels good. Basically, it feels like I'm just putting some lotion on my face. So I'm gonna use some of that, and I'm gonna use my stem my stippling brush today. Usually, I um, use my beauty blender, but I'm gonna use this today. Um, this is by Sephora, and it's a stippling brush, and it's nice and fluffy, feels nice. So anyway, so I'm gonna mix this up, and um, I'm gonna pour some on my hands, and then use the brush to pick it up. And just put a little bit like that, a little bit at a time, and as I need. Um, Go on. I'm just gonna throw this on my face, just like this. Give me a more natural coverage. And throw this all over. brush just to buff it out more and make it more smoother you to blend it all in and this one gives me like a very dewy kind of sheet Back in that time, they didn't do like a lot of dewy kind of look. Their 
their look was more matte. So I might throw on, I am going to throw on some face powder just to give me more of a matte look. Because you can see this has like a shiny dew to it. So I am going to add a little bit of powder to that. Let me take some of this tissue, some tissue and take off the rest of my, um, and just uh, make up all my hands here. Hi, Jake. Hello. Okay. Can you close the door for mommy, please? As you can see, that's a closer door because Jake keeps coming in. Um, it gives me more of a dewy, smooth look. But back in those days, Jakey, close the door. Close the door for mommy. The door? Yes, close the door. So. I'm going to put a little bit of powder on just to matten it out a little bit and um, that will be that for my face. So I'm going to use my translucent powder um, by um, Maybelline, it's mineral powder, it's just translucent, it'll give me more of a matte look. Instead of that dewy look. And just throw that one all over my face. I'll just pour some in the little cap. baby on on the other side. Just like that. Okay. So there I kind of matted that out. it for the face they didn't do too much you know there was not really no contouring and things like that at that time makeup was a, little, a lot more simpler back then <laughs> so um, so now I'm gonna move on to the eyes now I like to line my line my eyes with um, a pencil liner first and then I like to go over it with the liquid liner just because I feel like I have a more steady hand with the pencil and it will give me a uh, guide for the liquid. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to line it with my NYX um, eye pencil in black. I'm going to line my eyes so I can give myself um, a better... Don't mind my eyebrows. I haven't gotten them waxed. I haven't gotten them done. So they are like all over the place. So, can't do everything, right? So anyway, I'm just going to line my eyes with my...
my uh, pencil and I'm going to try to make it fairly thin. And just follow it all the way to the to the tip, just like that. And I'm not gonna line my lower line because they didn't really do that back then. If they did, they probably use like a light shadow just to give their eyelashes an extra mm. so. I just finished lining this one. I'm gonna wing, put a wing out at the um, when I use my liquid liner to follow up with the thing. So when I wing it, the best thing is to follow the end of your lower waterline. It's better just to follow that same direction out and wing from there and then connect it to the top. So that's what I'm, that's how I do it. That's how I find that I get the best result. And just line it up with your um, lower waterline. And just think, if it was to keep going, where, how far would it go? So you see, I made like um, like a little V. And then you just color it in. So that's that for this eye and just winged it out and connected all that to what I had drawn before with the um, pencil. Now if you're confident to do it without the pencil then go ahead and by mean, by all mean, go ahead and do it. I do do it sometimes, but I want to make sure that it comes out right, so that's why I use a pencil. So 
this pen liquid alone can get tricky. So like I did with this side, just follow it out with the um, lower waterline and extended it. And then I just like make like a little triangle. Yeah. A little triangle. Then you just basically color it in. That's it. So you see I winged it out over here on this side, matched it on this side, and that's that's the end product. My eyes always water when I do like my makeup when it's fox because then sometimes my makeup will run and I gotta do like a whole bunch of crap to stop it. So anyway, that's what it looks like. I need to fix this die. Go over this here. Okay. That's it. So now I'm gonna put um, some shadow. And they didn't, they used, but they didn't really use a lot. They smoked it out, but blended it so it didn't look too pow in your face. It's almost to like a grayish color that um, they would do it. So I'm going to use my um, my eyeshadow brush that I got from the, from the um, pharmacy. If you got like the whole can of like CVS or whatever, Rite Aid, you know, those like that. So one has like the angled shadow and then this one has the, the smoky side which helps you smoke out your ends over here. So first I'm going to start with a light, well first. I'm going to use my Victoria's Secret makeup kit that came with all these shadows. So, um, the first one I'm going to start with is this night. It doesn't, the thing is that it doesn't tell you all the colors. So I, it doesn't tell you any of the colors that are here. So I'm left to guess on my own. So I'm just going to use this like tan creamy looking one right here. And I'm going to just put that all um, on the lid. And I'm just putting that on the whole lid. Putting that all the way. do the same point here. And 
from there, I am going to use this charcoal color right here. And I'm going to use it with the angled side. And I'm going to start right here at the end in the crease, just like that. And I'm just going to follow the indent of the eye. Like that. And I'll follow through with the same on this side and the crease. use the other end, the smoker end, to um, kind of blend it up. And then the other side. I'm going to add a little bit of shimmer, and this is my uh, CoverGirl Intense Shadow, and it does not say the color, but it's like a pinky pearl kind of color, and I'm going to just put that right in the middle of my... with a sheet over his head. And with the smoker, I'm just gonna put it black this out a little bit here. And then do the same here. See? I'm gonna go over the black again. Because obviously with the shadow it um, lightens it, but I still want the line to be nice and dark. I'm going to use a pencil because this liquid liner is not doing it for me today. So I'm just going to quickly go over it. in here keeping me company.
keeping me company and making a mess at the same time. <laughs> And there you go. I finished that. And that's um, pretty much it. Yeah, I'm just gonna it to clean underneath my eye. I use a peach blush by Maybelline also. It is called Medium Coral. I love it. It's my favorite color. Um, probably back in the days, you probably used more of a pink color. But I'm not a pinky girl, so I will stick with my peachy color. And... Um, I'm gonna curl my eyelashes. I don't have false eyelashes, so I'm just gonna curl my own. And put on a ton of mascara. And um, this is my Rimmel mascara that is practically worn out. I need to get buy some product. I like these um, pharmacy uh, mascaras better than I do um, higher end ones. I don't know. I just think they work better. I like their brushes. I've tried a whole bunch and I always go back to these. So. So with this, don't be scared to lather on the mascara. I mean, you don't want it clumpy. <laughs> but you want them to show, so. pretty easy it doesn't take long to do um there's really no special techniques to get this look like i said it's easy to to do it using both of these together.
clean them up. Now, a full flash will probably make your eyes pop more. But I don't have full flashes, so these lovely things will have to do. And I'm going to just brush them down here. brush just to blend all that out that I just put in. I don't want to see no I don't want to see any lines. Jake is back in here to make a mess. So I line my lip with it and I'm going to color it in and then I'm going to follow it with my NARS um, lip pencil in Cruella. And that's it. There you have it. My 1950s based um, makeup. Um, maybe I'll add like a little beauty mark because it's 
seems like all the women back then have a beauty mark or something on their face. Let's see how this works out. for my 1950s style and um, I have a lot going on today I haven't even really done my hair today so they used to have their hair like wavy and pinned very nicely. My hair is a hot mess. We'll just leave it back. That's my 1950s style based look and um, it was inspired by my aunt and here you go. I hope you like it. Um, it's simple and easy to do. You could do it on your own. I did it with pretty much a uh, drugstore brand um, products so you can get this stuff anywhere. So. Well, that's it. I hope everybody enjoyed it and I will talk to you guys later. Bye!